You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I... Okay, the day has finally arrived Guys, pumpkin picking 2021 is about to happen today and I am just so freaking excited. Like, I don't actually think I went last year. I was actually just thinking and like looking back through my channel and yeah, I think with Corona and everything last year, pumpkin picking wasn't a thing for me. So I'm so excited to go this year. I've got a really exciting day planned with my mom, which I love. I just love spending time with my mom. I think as you get older, you really do realize just how important family is and spending time with family is as well. I mean, not that I've never thought spending time with family is important. I just think the older you get, like the more you realize life's so short and it's so important to make these memories while you've got people around. Um, and yeah, I really love spending time with my mom. We got on so well um, and yeah, she loves doing cute things like this as well. I'm sure you guys would have saw my mom in previous vlogs and stuff like she loves being creative, she loves little cute days out. So yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to it guys. I didn't actually know if I was going to be able to make pumpkin picking this year because the last couple of weeks have been so busy with work. Um, I'm heading to Ibiza literally in a few days. So I've got just so much going on with that, like thinking about outfits and, you know, packing, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, mum kind of said to me, look, I think if we want to go pumpkin picking, we should go before a beef farm. Because by the time I get back, it's going to be the end of October. Well, not the end, but it's going to be like the 16th, 17th. Um, I've got to quarantine for five days. And then, you know what it's like at these pumpkin places. Pumpkins start, you know, going down. And there might not be as many left. So, yeah, before we'd go this week. So, that is coming up later in the vlog, guys. I'm going to do my hair and stuff before we go out. I've just literally chucked it up but anyway before i go and pick my mum up and we go pumpkin picking i have something super super exciting to share and show you i've got a little haul for you guys and it's from none other than the skinny food co I don't know who skinny food are by the way just in a nutshell um they kind of like pride themselves on zero calorie syrups like low sugar stuff and basically just all the stuff that you like to eat that's typically known as unhealthy they've made their own kind of like versions of them that are healthier low in sugar um some high in protein stuff gluten free you know suitable for diabetics and things like that so yeah i absolutely love everything behind the brand so i'm just going to quickly run through some of them um, i do actually have a discount code guys which will get you 20 percent off so that's laura meacham i'll pop it on screen and in the description bar below so first up I picked up a another baking thing. So they do a lot of baking mixes. So if you want to do a little bit of home baking, um, but you want it to be kind of like guilt-free and healthier, then you can grab some of their low sugar baking kits. So this one is the chocolate brownie one. Then I also picked up this, which is a low sugar pancake mix. I love kind of sweet things in the morning. Um, so pancakes and meat are an ideal breakfast. And these are actually only 21 calories each, low in sugar again, zero palm oil. Um, so again, really looking forward to making some of those. And following on with the pancakes actually guys, a little hack that you can do with those pancakes. Um, I mean, you could put any of the syrups on top. So I did pick up a ton of syrups from Skinny Food. Um, but one thing that I did actually see a TikToker do with the skinny food stuff is she got some of this um, chocoholic spread. So this is the white chocolate flavoured one. Again, it's 92% less sugar, zero palm oil. Um, and she put like a little bit in a pot, put it in the microwave and then drizzled it over um, these pancakes. So I'm definitely going to try that out because that sounds yummy. And then you could also team this with like some raspberries white chocolate and raspberry oh my god then got a salted caramel oh my goodness that sounds so good love anything salted caramel and then i also picked up like i said some syrup so i think what one do i already have in my cupboard let me have a look guys ah this is the one i've already got in my cupboard this is the one i use for like pancakes at the moment so this is the zero calorie maple syrup one and um, but i also picked up a zero calorie birthday cake one um, zero calorie salted caramel then i picked up so i've never actually tried one of their sauces for kind of like chips let's say i'll put on burgers or whatever um and i picked up the honey barbecue because i'm an absolute lover of barbecue sauce again it's gluten-free fat-free zero dairy um and it sounds divine so i'm really looking forward to trying that one also just picked up a no guilt spray so this is a one calorie spray pure olive oil i feel like so many people forget how many calories oil actually has in 
in like there's loads if you don't actually like ever look or realize what you're pouring so yeah i really recommend these one calorie spray oils they're perfect also just got some peanut butter smooth uh what else did i get oh i also got a sweet chili sauce which i'm really excited about so this is a virtually zero one so it's low sugar low calorie and fat free okay in the last couple of bits i picked up um i got some like sweet treats but again low sugar low calories um like i say you guys already know me i have a massive sweet too so i love to have things in the house they're a little bit guilt-free and you know not so high in calories and things so they actually do these skinny chocolate drops they're 86 calories and 90 percent less sugar and they look like these then these now i've never tried these versions i mean i've had something similar to these before um but these are 92 percent less sugar hazelnut chocolate spread with sweetness and low sugar and then the bread sticks with them so yeah i can't wait to try that and then i also have one of the chuck snack parts in chuck orange flavor as well um so yeah they definitely sound so insane um and then the one thing i have tried from this order so far guys is the high protein white chocolate crispies so i've actually got 10 in here and these are what they look like honestly i think i've had a pack of these every day since this delivery has come so in here we have low sugar high protein 95 calories gluten free um so yeah how much protein do they have in a pack so per pack guys these have nine grams of protein so if you're looking to increase your protein intake this is a really good snack to have and obviously you know kick that sweet tooth as well so i'm gonna have a pack of these now because honestly i am peckish and let me show you what these are like they are so tasty honestly i'm just ripping them open so they're like little white chocolate crispies essentially mm. they're so good okay i absolutely demolished them but anyway guys that's everything i have to share and show you from a skinny food i will leave all details in the description bar along with my discount code if you would like to check them out um but yeah highly highly recommend um right anyway i need to pop this all away in my cupboard now and yeah let's get ready to go and pick them up and go pumpkin picking i'm so excited okay so i'm in my car now and i'm finally on the way to go and pick mum up to go pumpkin picking as i mentioned this morning um i can't get over how nice it is today guys like considering it's supposed to be autumn and the temperature's supposed to be i don't know like a little bit colder it's 16 degrees and the sun's out and it actually feels so warm here's me wearing a tracksuit and a trench over the top and boots and i actually feel like i could get away with a t-shirt genuinely but it just doesn't feel right wearing that um but yeah hence why i've got the sunglasses on and i'm not just being a weirdo sat with sunglasses on in my car it's just so incredibly sunny and i know as soon as i'm going to drive down that driveway i'm going to be blinded by the sun um but yeah so excited you know what me and mum have never done pumpkin picking together i don't even know if she's actually ever been pumpkin picking so really looking forward to doing it with mum in previous years i've always been with my friend jess um because she's like mad on halloween um but yeah anyway obviously it's a mad rush for me because i'm going on holiday on saturday to ibiza so do you know what <laughs> i probably shouldn't have picked to go on holiday at one of the busiest times of the year for me this time of the year now it's just so busy i come alive i'm so excited to create content i've got quite a lot of brand work on uh, but the thing is i was nagging at mitchell all summer to go away and he was like no it's such a faff with covid and all the testing and stuff and it's typical that he finally like come around to the idea and the only time we could sort of go was october so i wasn't going to turn it down because i'm so desperate for a holiday so and obviously it'll be our first holiday so yeah it is what it is um but it just means that i'm literally going at 100 miles an hour at the moment i have so much work to do i'm definitely not in holiday mode at the moment considering tomorrow is my last full day in england i go on holiday on saturday it's thursday today i just i feel so overwhelmed with work i'm just gonna have to kind of like cut ties with some things and just be like you know what i'm gonna have to do it when i get back now so yeah a little bit of a stress but we will get there but obviously i didn't not want to film my annual kind of like pumpkin picking vlog um and obviously when i get back i'm gonna have to quarantine for five days so i'll be out by the thursday because it's literally sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday pay for day five test release and yeah it'll be fine i can catch up with loads of work anyway so it's not really a massive deal to me having to quarantine um but yeah it just means that it will be like back end of october and if anyone's ever been pumpkin picking you will know 
Pumpkin's literally a non-existent around that time when you go to pumpkin farms. Everyone sort of goes early, so yeah, I really wanted to go before we go, well, before I go away. Um, right, I'm gonna shut up because I really need to go and pick mum up because I'm already running late. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the vlog. I'm actually gonna go Starbucks as well and get a nice, I was gonna get a pumpkin spice, like the actual warm one, but with it being so hot, I think I'm gonna get a, a cold pumpkin spice. I've only had one this year actually, which is quite unusual for me. Okay guys, so mum is in the building, in the car, <laughs> um, so we just nipped up Thermos from Retail over where mum lives just to grab a pumpkin spice. Um, you don't like pumpkin spice do you? I think you tried it before, it's too sugary for mm. you. Yeah. I think the thing is if you don't have sugar in your coffee, to be fair I don't have sugar in my coffee, I just like the fraps. Um, yeah you won't really like it because it is quite sugary and sweet, um, but I think I'm going to get the frappuccino. What are you going to have from Starbucks? I'll just have a cappuccino. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna grab that now. It's so busy up here. Like if anyone ever comes up here, you'll understand that the parking is just horrific for how many shops there is. Um, so anyway, I'm not gonna ramble. I'm gonna quickly go and grab them because we've got a tight schedule today. So we have made it to Kato Farm. It's really good here for kids. Um, they've got quite a lot of stuff this year. They never had this before when I came a couple of years ago. They've got like a little bit of a fair. So I will show you. I assume this is probably on later at night, isn't it, Mom? Yeah, and the weekend. Look, they've got the waltzers, dodgems. <laughs> you love the waltzers, don't you, Mom? You've got teacups, ghost train. Mom has got the wheelbarrow. Um, we specially selected a black one. <laughs> Those are different colours. I don't know, I just thought black goes, doesn't it, Mom? <laughs> with oh, the photos. With yeah, with your outfit. I don't want to be walking around with a pink one. How many pumpkins are we planning on getting? Very muddy, guys. Don't wear beige boots. <laughs> yeah. Yet. Yet. And as the light startled our eyes, we let go of disguise. What's new for this year guys is, I mean I didn't come last year actually so I can't comment but they've got more photo opportunities so if like me you like to get a nice photo when you go pumpkin picking this is a really good little setup they've done. <laughs> There's little skeleton, well little skeletons and skeletons in the car, it's funny. Um, and then over here we've just got a load of pumpkins which I guess you can just pick up and help yourself to and buy one so you don't have to like rummage the fields and then over here there's a big like pumpkin kind of display area um, and I think beyond that there's more pumpkins and there's like a little display and then if we walk around here too there is another tractor for photos I think that one's better isn't it Mom? yeah this is, they're both cute aren't they um, so yeah, I, I love it. It's really good. I think out of all of them I had a look at, I think this is, you have to pay to get in. It's, I, I'm not sure at the weekend. I think it is more expensive, didn't you say, Mum? But it's £2. It cost me £4.40 for me and Mum. Which you don't mind, really. They put like a lot into it, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, it looks like it's a really nice cafe as well. Are we in an after, oh, I don't know where you even get in there, Mum. Um, I just asked mum if she's been pumpkin picking before and this is actually her first time. Um, so yeah, this is an experience to experience together mum. We need to find some cute pumpkins. I really want some munchkin pumpkins as well. I think they have them back there though. That's going to get heavy isn't it? We have found our first pumpkin. I love that with this stalk on. I mean I need to cut that down a bit. But... Oh no, I like it like that. What, even with the wispy bits on? Yeah. I didn't realise pumpkins are prickly. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> that one's nice under there actually. Is that nice? The one with the big wispy thing on. Come on, put the Starbucks cup in here. It's done with now. Yeah, we can chuck it in the bin when we find one. 
Oh, she's in her element. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> now. How much are all these, by the way? <laughs> that is a lovely one, Mum. <laughs> That's another big one, isn't it? Or is that medium? It's got nice ridges. That is lovely, Mum. It has got beautiful ridges on. I feel like the pumpkins look nicer this year from here, you know. Or maybe it's because we've come earlier. I feel like I normally come a bit later. That one. That's the one I picked up, wasn't it? And I said it wasn't. Wasn't very good. Yeah. Guys, I think I've, is that one a good one, Mum? Yeah, it needs nice. cleaning up, but yeah, I feel yeah. like it's got some nice. It's a bit of a different colour, isn't it? As well. Yeah, they're all quite a few different colours. Mum, how many have I got there? Three Four. big ones. Well, you got three big. Ones. I need little ones now. We don't need no more big ones. I think you get the little ones. But there is some little munchkin ones around. Munchkin. I don't know why I'm calling them munchkin. Mum's is in her element. <laughs> have you found one, Mum? We are going deep into the pumpkins now, guys. Wow, look at that big one. God, there's some huge ones around here. Have you found the perfect one, Mum? Oh, that is, oh my God, that is so cute. I love the stalk on that. You've done a good there, Mum. I can always rely on you, Mum. Are you impressed with all of these pumpkins? Oh, look, yes, here's all the small ones. I wonder if they plant like different sizes then. Is that a stupid thing to say or? Um, or not. <laughs> if you've got any pumpkin experts on here, let me know. Guys, hair has just had to be slicked back, honestly. Do you know what? I said to myself this morning, when I went pumpkin picking a couple of years ago, I had my hair down and I knew then it was just windy and a disaster. And I did think this morning, should I put my hair up? But then because I've just had it dyed, I was like, oh, I really want to keep it down. But now it just looks awful because I've just had a bubble on my wrist. So I've just slicked it back, but it was driving me nuts. Um, but anyway, we have successfully picked some pumpkins. We've not picked too many because they have all the munchkin ones. <laughs> Is that what they're called, Mum? <laughs> I'm calling them munchkin pumpkins, but I, I swear that when I've been to like Tesco before, they, they have munchkin yeah, pumpkins. Yeah, I think they do call them. Mum, look at these ones towards the end like where you come and pay they have all like little pumpkins in case you want any like different ones that's a nice one mum mum this one it's like beige hey oh no look at that one i think i prefer but that one there as well these are nice aren't they oh i like that mushroomy <laughs> mushroomy one oh. it's different ain't it? it doesn't even look like a pumpkin no <laughs> it doesn't look like a pumpkin, Mum. Yes. Oh, this one. That one. That's nice. Oh, that's nice, yeah. I like that. I want a couple of white ones. That one? I'll let you pick, yeah. So we've selected a few little pumpkins and now we are on to the exit. Honestly, it's so good for kids here, isn't it? Yeah. They'd so love it. This is where you pay. <laughs> no, Mum. I'm not a kid. Why don't you get your head in there and I'll take a picture no, of you? I think you need to get <laughs> no. They're lying. It's so good. They have really put like a lot of effort into it here, haven't they? Okay, pumpkins are all paid for. How many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Have a little guess now how much you think all of these cost. I didn't have a clue. Like, how much did you genuinely think that was gonna cost, Mum? I thought it was about 35 pounds. Yeah, I did. 24.95, guys. 
I think that's really good value for all of them. Five, like, 10, 15, 20, 25, yeah. So that's three, six, nine, twelve. I mean, like, to be fair, I don't know how much they cost. And I think like big ones like that, I'd probably expect to pay at least five pound in a supermarket. Yeah. So that's 10 pound, let's say. Mediums, like three, yeah. six, these, nine. These are fresh pumpkins. But it's about right. It's about yeah. like on par with a supermarket, yeah, I yeah. think. Maybe a little bit more, but like you say, they're fresh. By the way, if anyone is wondering why my mum's carrying it and I'm not carrying the thing, because I know I'll get someone leaving a comment. <laughs> I'm obviously, I have two like pieces of equipment here. I've got my phone, I've got my camera, and I'm trying to like vlog TikTok. So yeah, I do feel bad that mum's <laughs> pushing it, but it's like, well, even mum becomes a YouTuber or I push the um, wheelbarrow. So. And she's treating me to dinner. And I'm treating her to lunch, so. Yeah, you can't be too harsh on me, guys. Okay, so me and Mum are now in the little cafe. What are you going for, Hon? I'm going to find out what soup they're doing. Okay. And what are you hoping for? Pumpkin. <laughs> I think I'm going to go for a toasty. I'm not sure which one. Mum, which toasty would you go for? I had a toasty yesterday. Is it nice? Where from? Uh, cafe, locally. Oh. Cheese and chutney. Mmm, that sounds nice. Water, tea for two. It's a bit of an unusual tea thing, isn't it? I like the water. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? That's just tap water as well, yeah. isn't it? A 10 out of 10 for presentation. We've we got milk. Oh, yeah, yeah. We love a cup of tea, we do, don't we? Well, you like weak tea. I'm having mine first. It's nice. Just how you like it. No. That tea. Perfect. No. Perfect. Let me know in the comments bar below how you <laughs> like your tea. Obviously I know people do like it weak, but I like mine brewed. Stewed. No, brewed, not <laughs> stewed. It's the difference between brewed and stewed. So I have gone for the bacon and brie. I think we've caramelized onion. Looks scrumptious. And then you got your wish. Mum actually said, I said to Mum, like, what soup would you like? And she said pumpkin soup. Is it a spice pumpkin or just I don't pumpkin? Know. Oh, that looks lovely. Okay, so we finished up pumpkin picking, guys, and now we've just popped in at a garden centre um, on our way back because tomorrow I'm actually finishing off the rest of my autumn decorations. As you guys know, every year I do my bathroom. Um, I sometimes do a little bit in the bedroom. Um, and I always do my outdoor display, which I haven't done yet. I've just been so busy. So mum thought it'd be a good idea just to stop off at the garden centre and just grab a couple of bits. So... What are you thinking there? Really nice, $2.99. Okay. Do, do they go with them ones? Yeah, these are the same ones, but these are smaller ones, but you can put it more in one pot. Oh, okay. So what, you reckon them instead of them then? It depends what colour you want. Mm. They're more like autumn aren't we? So they are called chrys chrysan chrysanthemums. Yeah. Um, and we're thinking about getting two parts and putting these in. Because to be fair, I need some at the front of my door anyway that looks cute. So what are we saying? Like this looks nice and bushy though. Yeah, but that would be um that'll be that size in a pot. But can I get so I could get three of them then? And put them all in a pot. To make them bigger. So you think if they're five pound each, that's ten pound. But then like if I they're any three quid each, so I could get like two oh, like, that'll be that'll be, yeah. I mean that'll be in the pot like that. But it's still not as many, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, yeah, you could put another bunch in with them. So I could get four of them. Yeah, what do you think? What colour shall we go for? What goes for the pumpkins? Orange. Orange, yeah. Let's get the orange then. Well, I, I'm not nicking up orange on mine. Like... We're in the reduced section, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, why not? But why not? Those are quite nice. I love them ones, yeah, they're really pretty. Yeah, like white and orange. Yeah. yeah. So. What do you think? Yeah, because yeah, I've got a couple, like a little white pumpkin, haven't I? Yeah. Okay, so we'll just get two of them then, and then just two oranges? Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, so please excuse the state of me. Honestly, when I've been out all day and 
hair's up, makeup just looks a mess, but finally back home, I've just removed all the pumpkins and the flowers from the car, which honestly took me about five million trips, um, but I thought before it gets dark, which it does seem to get dark so early now, um, I thought we'd decorate it outside of my house, so yeah, I feel like, let me just flip the camera around, I need to try and be careful with this, because I don't want to obviously show you my house name, um, but yeah, so here's all the bits, obviously we've got from garden centre and a pumpkin picking, and then you might remember this from my amazon video i wasn't going to keep it but then i forgot to send it back and i actually don't have a doormat i think i'm going to get rid of that oh my god there's a snail on it i've just touched that ew um let me just chuck that over there please excuse all the boxes i tend to just do that because my um recycling bin's a bit of a walk so yeah i just thought we could just pop that there and you know what i mean it looks oh i feel like there's so many bugs everywhere but yeah it's better than nothing maybe i should remove the one from underneath it what do you guys think? Yeah, it's a doormat, it will do, um, even though it's not the best quality. Um, I feel like I need to trim these bushes down, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of like place these next to the door. These after, I was going to pop them, but I don't know if I've got time, so I might just hide the pots for now, um, just with the pumpkins and i've got a few other bits and bobs so yeah anyway i'm gonna put you on a little time lapse and let's get this done about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't About to see the world in action, what we can be like with no distractions. We'll get away. Okay, so I think I'm done, guys. I'm just gonna leave it like this. I don't want to go to OTT. I mean, I know some people would probably think this is OTT, um, but obviously, this is quite it's only a few pumpkins and just some reduced plants that I got at the garden center. I can't believe how much of a bargain they were, they were 15 pounds for like all of the plants um and those plants just there should have been 10 pound each so what a bargain i think it's because they'd already like blossomed and flowered but yeah i absolutely love how it looks love the pumpkins just put a few little plastic ones there just to fill out the spaces as well i've kept the other mat underneath just because that is so thin it's not a very good doormat so i just thought i'd leave that there and then if i just go up i'm going to show you my wreath that i made i mean for a little DIY job, I, I mean, I say I made it, I kind of like showed mum what to do and she just stuck it down, um, but I did actually have to go like in with a few more little cable tie things just to tie these down because they did kind of like come loose, but I'm so happy with how it looks, I think it looks super cute, um, and yeah, just a little bit of, you know, autumn, Halloween, festive to my front door, I really love these plants though, I think they really make it look nice. Yeah, anyway, that is the front door for 2021, guys. What's it like to be the one that he turns to when he started answers? Okay, so now we've finished doing the front door, I thought we would decorate the bathroom because I've not done it yet and you guys know I decorate my bathroom every single year so this is everything I've got to do the bathroom with probably do it like pretty similar to like last year I did pick up some new goodness so I got a pumpkin bath bomb from Lush I also picked up um the vanilla pumpkin shower gel like I do every single year and I also got the um what's this the body cream too to be the one that he comes to when he wants to die. Hey guys, so grand reveal, decorating is finally done. So as every single year, I have decorated my little bath rack. So I put mum's DIY pumpkin here. These are actually marshmallows and I had them in a big tub from like Halloween two years ago, but they seem to just not go off 
I'm obviously not going to eat them, but they're really good for decoration. So I've just put loads of those. Just a few um, little pumpkin candles from Home Sense. A pumpkin spice candle, a pumpkin spice root diffuser, um, obviously my pumpkin bath bomb and my little few bits from the Body Shop Pumpkin Edition too. Then I've got this cute sign here. And then simply just here, I've got these lights. I need to get some batteries for them though. Put a few more little pumpkins. This I actually got in the sale a couple of years ago from TK Maxx Home Sense when they used to have quite a lot of Halloween stuff left over. I feel like nowadays they don't tend to have as much stuff reduced because people go mad for it, but yeah. I think that cat's so cute. Then I'll just put a little Hello Pumpkin um, like art thing here. Some more little pumpkins. Then I've just got another vanilla pumpkin candle. Another little pumpkin, pumpkin there, and then I've just put out my Winter Spice um, Edition hand wash and hand cream from Aldi, because I just thought they'd be quite cute. Um, I haven't really done anything on this side of the bathroom, I just left this quite simple, um, because yeah, I feel like there's quite a lot going on there, but anyway, that is my little bathroom Halloween decor, I hope you like it guys. Anyway guys. <laughs> back into the living room i bet you've never seen my living room like this before and yeah i have got packing to do this evening i've got boxes everywhere deliveries everywhere that i need to sort i feel like when you go on holiday as a gal i mean i know not everyone's like this but personally for me i feel like i actually end up spending more on holiday bits than i actually do on the holiday i feel do you know what i think when you do instagram especially for a living i mean even if you don't do Instagram. I feel like a lot of girls are like this anyway. Like you just like new things to wear on holiday. You want a new outfit. It's like the whole excitement. Well, it is for me anyway. Like part of going on holiday for me is I like being able to wear new clothes. I like to get dressed up in the evening, put something new on, go for dinner. And it just, it's just so lovely, isn't it? Not to say you can't, you know, dig out an old outfit, re-accessorise it a different way and feel nice because obviously you can too. But yeah, another thing I was going to add on to that is because obviously I do do what I do for a job, I feel like you never stop. Like your brain never stops, stops ticking. You're always thinking about content. You're always thinking about like what to do next. Um, and definitely for me, I always think like, yeah, okay, I'm going on holiday, but it's an opportunity to work as well. I've got to do outfit photos. I've got to get all new outfits. And you know, it's an opportunity to actually be in the sun and wear... I like summer clothes. I know it's not summer anymore and people aren't going to be as bothered about that. But as I've not been on holiday and really lived a summer this year, um, it's just been so nice to actually shop bikinis, to shop summery clothes. So, yeah. Anyway, that's my little rumble. Obviously, luckily for me, I'm so kindly gifted a few bits and bobs of clothes. But don't get me wrong, like Pretty Little Thing, I've bought everything from there. Um, haven't worn a Pretty Little Thing for a while now. Um, which makes me quite sad. Um, so yeah, I have just done a few orders on there. And then, that thing's happened, guys. You know when, like, all of your makeup runs out in one go? It's typical that it's happened just before my holiday. So I've literally had to spend about 100 and something quid on Look Fantastic, ordering new bits. Foundations, I was running low, but I've not bothered. I just thought, you know what, I've had... I've got like an Anastasia Beverly Hills Too Faced one that's like full in my drawer. So I'm just going to try and use them because they're still really good foundations. So got those and then... Oh, perfume. I ran out my YSL perfume, which is one of my favourite, like, holiday scents. It's the YSL Libri, if you're wondering. Honestly, smell it. It's insane. So, yeah, I had to buy that as well. Honestly, it's expense after expense. And obviously, because me and Mitchell as well aren't double jabbed, we've had to pay for all these tests. To be fair, they didn't work out too expensive in the end. I think they're about £130, £140 for all of them. So, we have to do one before we go, PCR test. Then we have to do, like, one whilst we're at the resort to fly back then we have to do a day two test then um, you have to put like day two and day 10 and then if you want to leave quarantine early you can pay for a day five pay test for release or something i don't know guys but yeah it is all madness but anyway me and mitchell did one of the rapid flow ones anyway because we've obviously got to take our test tomorrow um and we were both negative so that is good a little bit of a relief i know they're not always like 100 accurate but i mean i've not got any symptoms i feel absolutely fine so i think that's the one big stress now with going on holiday um obviously getting all these tests back on time making sure you're negative um you've got to do like a passenger locator form as well it just does feel a little bit more stressful like gone are the days of just getting to the airport just with your boarding passes and passport it's like you've got to think of all this covid malarkey but anyway i need to get me on my packing guys because 
I need it done and I'm stressed with it. But I have tried most things on, so that is one plus. Um, I am one of them people that sometimes I'll do an order, shove it all in my suitcase, get on holiday, hate everything, and then I'm like, I've not got a fit to wear. And I didn't want that this time. I wanted every outfit planned. So yeah, I've tried everything on. I've got some lovely bits actually. So anyway, guys, I'm not gonna bore you with a pack with me because yeah, I feel like if it was summer, I would have done a pack with me, but like it's October, you're all wanting the autumn content and this is a pumpkin vlog. So anyway, I'm gonna shut up. I really hope you have enjoyed this vlog and enjoyed coming along pumpkin picking with me and mom. Oh, by the way, I just wanted to say a quick word on the Kato's Farm pumpkin picking place we went because I had so many people ask me on Instagram what it was like so i've already posted pictures and stuff um amazing honestly highly highly recommend i'd say it's one of the best pumpkin places around like leicestershire nottinghamshire i mean if there is any better places then do let me know if you're around the area um but yeah they do charge a year which i know has annoyed some people but i don't blame them because they've got so much more than what most pumpkin places have they've got a mini fair and they've got like food stalls, which I think open at the weekend because they weren't open when we went. But like there was a big area where you could like sit, I guess, in the evening. And there was like a, is it Dunkin' Donuts and, you know, pizza van and burger van and things like that. They have a scary maze that you can do. They obviously have the pumpkin farm. They've set up loads of areas or like around the pumpkin farm where you can get loads of cute photos. Um, they've just really gone out and decorated everywhere. And not to mention their cafe is gorgeous. Like the food amazing i paid 15 pound for me and mum to have a soup and bread i had a bacon brie and like chutney toasty with crisp salad it was sensational like one of the best toasters i've ever had and then we just had some like tap water which came in a real fancy jug um tea for two which genuinely we could have had four cups of tea out of that each there was so much tea i've never seen so much tea yeah 15 pound but it was really really like good value for a little lunch so yeah I think it's brilliant. I think your kids will absolutely love it. It's a really good day out. So yeah, I would go. It only cost me mum £4.40. £4.40 for both of us for a weekday. So yeah, if you can, maybe go on the weekday because I can imagine at the weekends it gets absolutely rammed. It was just lovely when we went. There was hardly anyone there. Um, and we went at around about half one in the afternoon. Anyway, guys, I'm going to cut this vlog here because I feel like I'm chewing your ears off. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, she'll see you all in my next video, which will probably be my beef vlog. <laughs>